Um, this this is an ocarina, and it's an ancient wind musical instrument that is supposedly dated back 12,000 years ago. And it, um, the reason why I wanted to play it in the first place for you gamers out there is that it was a major icon of one of my favorite childhood video games, Legend of Zelda. So yeah, how it works is that, I mean, in case you're wondering, um, there's no nothing in the ocarina, it's just an empty chamber. So you hold it like this, you keep your fingers on the holes, and you just blow through this mouthpiece like this. So you probably notice that the more finger holes I open, the higher the pitch gets. Um, so, like, when you open the area, more air can escape and oscillate through all these other holes, which changes how fast it moves and the frequency, or the pitch, I mean. Uh, I can demonstrate this in a song. Uh, just notice, like, how the notes shift by according how much area I leave open. blow into an ocarina the louder it becomes as you go higher and by opening more holes air escapes easily but you have to blow hard to build up necessary pressure on the other hand and because if you don't it's going to create a windy sound for instance if you don't blow hard enough it's going to sound like or so you're going to have to blow harder to make that noise and the reason for this is because the air you blow inside the instrument has a certain amount of kinetic energy and this energy is then producing the sound. So a sound wave carries more energy with higher frequencies as long as you blow harder into the ocarina. The size of the ocarina also changes the pitch of the instrument. The bigger the volume, the lower the pitch, or the bigger the size of an ocarina, the lower the pitch, but this is a medium size so it's not that low. Um, but vice versa, the smaller the ocarina is the higher the pitch because um, the sound waves have to fit inside the instrument and since the chamber is smaller it's going to have a higher frequency. I mean frequency depends on the speed of sound but environmental conditions can also change the ocarina's voice and for instance if temperature is increasing then the sound will decrease or the ocarina will sound more quiet that is. And if pressure decreases, the sound will also decrease or get more quiet. So, yeah, this is an ocarina. It's one of the easier instruments to learn on, and it's much cheaper. So, yeah.